Good morning. Good morning. Today, Jesus tells us he is the bread of life. Today, we will receive Jesus. Will you receive him or reject him? How will Jesus be able to tell? By your actions. Please stand. Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Father. Mm -hmm. As we gather together this morning to celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass. We come to do exactly what Jesus has asked us to do, to take bread and wine and allow him to change it into his own body and blood so that we would know that he continues to be with us and he's never abandoned us. So let's call to mind God's love for us, God's forgiveness for us, and let us ask that we be forgiven of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <laughs> Amen. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously 
ensure those you have given the grace of faith to may always strive to share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women he handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praises to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all earth worship and sing praises to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please stand for the Alleluia verse.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should lose no one of who he has given to me, but that I should raise them up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kindly be seated. Well, we'll see whether this microphone works a little better, huh? Okay. I hope so. Does anybody know who said this? I am the way, the truth, and the life. Does anybody know who said that? Back here, this gentleman. Young gentleman back here, who, who said that? Let's see if I take this off, we'll have any trouble with it. Jesus? That's right, Jesus said this, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Now, who was Jesus? That's a question. Okay, we have somebody right here. The Son of God. Okay, so, so Jesus is God. Now I want to see you uh, raise your hands uh, if you believe that God lies. If God lies, does God lie? Raise your hand if you think that God lies. Okay, so no one, no one thinks that God lies, right? God always tells the truth. And Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. 
Now, how many believe that God always tells the truth? Raise your hands now. So everybody does. Everybody believes that, that Jesus, who is God, has told us the truth. Today, we have from our gospel, the gospel is from the sixth chapter of John's gospel. And it's very interesting that, that Jesus uses a whole chapter of, of only 19 chapters. That's all, there's, that's all the number of chapters that are in John's gospel, 19. And he uses a whole, a whole one chapter, and that's a lot. We only have 19 chapters to a book, huh? And he, he focuses on huh, telling us, I am the bread of life in John's gospel. Then in the other three gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, God tells us, Jesus, at the Last Supper, he takes bread, he blesses God, he blesses his Father, he breaks the bread, and he says, take this and eat of it, for this is my body. In every single, every single gospel, Jesus is referring to or talking about that he is giving us his life in bread and wine. In everyone, every single gospel. In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, he's very, 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 very clear, extremely clear. He says, this is my body. And he's very, very clear when he takes the chalice with the wine in it, and he says, this is my blood. Today, Jesus says, huh, I am the bread of life in John's gospel. And he gives us this whole, 16, whole sixth chapter in teaching us about it. Hmm? Should we believe God? Yes and no. I think, we, I think we should believe God because he is the way, he's the truth, and the life. God doesn't lie to us. And if God came to us out of, the, out of heaven and took, took on our flesh and blood, took on as a babe, the baby of Bethlehem, right? Is that a miracle or not a miracle? Yeah, that's a miracle. Can, another question, can God do whatever God wants to do? Huh? Yes, God can do anything he wants to do. Because, because God made everything. He made the sky, he made the moon, he made he the sun, he made the earth, he made all the fish, he made all of, uh, all, all of the animals, and he made us. God can do whatever he wants to do. So if God wants to come down in human flesh as a little baby of Bethlehem, 
then God can do anything God wants. Now, when we listen to God, and God says this, take this and eat it, for this is my body, and he gives us a piece of bread. Can God, who took on human flesh in the babe of Bethlehem, and then lived among us like we live, and that's a miracle, can he make the miracle of the Eucharist, Holy Communion? Can he do that or not? Yes. Yes. Does he tell the truth? Yes. Yes. Does he mean what he says? Yes. Yes. Okay. So when he said, this is my body, take and eat. And when he took the chalice with the wine in it, and he says, this is my blood, take and drink of it. (laughs) Is he telling the truth or is he lying? Huh? Because God can't lie. God doesn't lie at all. And and when, when Jesus in today's gospel says, I am the bread of life, is he telling the truth? Yes. So if God can do every, anything and everything that he wants to do, okay, if he could be born in Bethlehem and live among us in human flesh, even though he's God, and that's a miracle, then can he take bread And can he make that bread his body? Yes. Yes. It's very, very clear. I am the way. I am the truth. I tell the truth all the time. I am the life. And so Jesus took bread and made a miracle. And he made the miracle so that we could know the way and that we could also have his life. We call that Holy Communion. So if God can do anything God wants to do, he can take a piece of bread and he can change that into his very self. And he tells us, now you take and eat of this. And the same with when he took the wine. He says, take and drink of this. St. Paul says this, a very important statement. Every time we eat that bread, and drink from that cup, we eat Jesus and drink his blood. Because Jesus can do anything because he's God. And he doesn't tell lies. So today, You'll hear me say, in the place of Jesus, I will tell you to remember what Jesus said. And, well, remembering, if you were a Jewish person, you would understand that remembering makes, makes you actually present to the time that that happened. That's too, that's too deep for you, <laughs> okay? It's, it's, you know, 
It's very difficult to understand. But for adults, for adults in the Jewish language, there's a, where there's a word and it's called tuzucha. It means to remember. And that means to be actually present to the time when that was happening. That spiritually there's no time. Everything is in the present. So for a Jewish mind, mm -hmm. when they celebrate the Passover, guess what? They are at the Passover. They are at the Passover. They are leaving Egypt, mm -hmm. and they are going on their 40-day, their 40-year journey. Mm -hmm. Every time that we come to have Mass, we are zukaring remembering and we are doing exactly what Jesus told us to do this is my body he says you take and eat it this is my blood you take and drink it mm -hmm. and every time that you do this every time that you do this you are eating my body and drinking my blood because I can work any miracle I want to. Does that make sense to you, boys and girls? Can Jesus do anything he wants to do? Can he do every single miracle that there is? Yeah. So in a few minutes, we're going to have a miracle take place. Regular bread and regular wine will be turned into, by Jesus' power, not by mine, by Jesus' power, by the gift of the Holy Spirit, God's love, it will be actually changed. It will look the same, but it will be changed into his body. It will look the same, but it will be changed into his blood. You know why? Because he said so. <laughs> because he said so. And he doesn't lie. So today's gospel, when you hear him say, I am the bread of life. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about Holy Communion. And every time that we celebrate the Mass and receive Holy Communion, we are actually uh, right like I'm to you right now okay, with Jesus. And Jesus feeds us with his body and blood. Okay. Do you believe that? Yes. Huh? Because God can't lie. God only can do what? And that's what he's told us. He's told us the truth. Now, some people say, no, that's not what he meant. Huh. I would like to know. <laughs> I would like to know who can read the mind of God. <laughs> if he said it, he thought it, and that was his mind. Okay? So we don't, we don't contradict God. We believe that God tells us the truth and we follow his way, his truth, so that we have life, eternal life in heaven.
Let's stand and continue our prayer to the Lord. For Pope Francis, Bishop David, and Father Jerry, and all who bring Jesus to the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all police, EMS, fire, hospital workers, and caregivers, as they bring the healing hand of Jesus to those they serve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the staff of St. Anthony and all teachers, as they bring Jesus to their students, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all United States military, as they protect the democratic values around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask all these things and all the things that we hold in our hearts, we ask them all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Kindly be seated as the bread and wine are brought to the altar for the holy sacrifice of the Mass. stand and pray that the bread and wine we bring to this holy altar, our offering, might become the acceptable sacrifice to Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in the Mass, which is the Easter Mysteries, so that renewed constantly with the work that you do within us, we may 
be filled with unending joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to, to proclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to joyfully shout your name more gloriously. For Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed on the cross. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people, praises your name, and even the heavenly powers with all the angels sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they sing out. Blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, and hate, which makes us all unhappy. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always so that we can live as your children. God, our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The night before he died, Jesus, your son, showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith And so, loving Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. Lord our God, listen to our prayer. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May the Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the Church, with Francis our Pope, David, our bishop, Curtis, our retired bishop, and all your people. Remember, Father, our families and our friends and those who have died. Bring them home to be with you forever. Gather us all together in your kingdom. There we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and our Mother, with her all good and holy husband Joseph, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, the martyrs, especially the deacon martyr Lawrence, Saint Anthony, and all the saints. They are all the friends of Jesus the Lord who we'll sing a song of joy. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, let us stand and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other in a very safe way a bow of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ. And I will rise. The body of 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 Christ. And I will rise
united in Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us stand and pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and guarantee for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mr. Bill said I should be sitting down and Well, Father Jerry, we know that you are getting very close to your retirement. And we just wanted to say thank you for everything that you have done for us, all of the spiritual guidance that you have given us individually as well as as a school community. So we have just a few little tokens of appreciation to say thank you and that we love you and we hope you will always remember us. We will always be praying for you and we thank you for everything that you have done. So we have a few things to give you, and I'm going to also ask our student council to come up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very colorful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good morning, teachers and students, and Monsignor Jerry. My fellow student council members and I are here to say a few kind words about Monsignor Jerry. Monsignor Jerry has been at school for a long time. We are very grateful for all he, ha he has done for us. Even though you are leaving us, that doesn't mean you won't be in our hearts. We have enjoyed your time with us over the last years and appreciate your dedication and support to our school. We will miss your messages and stories you tell us every Wednesday. Thank you for everything you've done for us. We appreciate you more than you ever known. Your, gr your guidance and encouragement have helped me and so many other students thrive and we've been so fortunate to have your expertise to rely on. May God continue to richly bless you and watch over you and your family. May peace be granted to you by God, now and always. We are really going to miss you, and we hope you enjoy your time in North Carolina. Best wishes for a very happy retirement. We love you, Father Jerry. Thank you. 
very much. Thank you. It's heavy. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's our school. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. So where's the student council? All the student council, come on up here. Come on. Let's go into the center aisle here. And we'll turn around and face this way. Come on. Okay. Those who are taller are in the back. Uh, okay? Everybody who's taller, uh, come on in the back. Okay? Everybody who's taller, come on in the back. And then fill in the front there. Okay? And all, all you boys and girls, can, can, why don't you stand up, okay? This is... And why, why doesn't that... Over here, all the students that are over here, you come, come on here. You, you think that you can get us all? Okay, so, okay, come on. We're just going to turn around, and all the tall people now are in the back. We're going to switch around. Okay? There we go. Okay, good. That's good. And now let's uh, take a step back. Uh, take a step back. And half of you, come on over here. Come on down here. And fill in the steps there. Okay, half, half, half of you, come down here. Yeah. Okay, those who are tall stay in the back, those who are shorter go in the front, okay? How about that? That's good. Can you get everybody? There's, there's more room over on this side. Oh, oh, that's being filled in. Okay, okay. Fine. Everybody turn that way. Everybody turn that way. Everybody turn and look up. Look upstairs. Look up towards the organ. Okay. Very good. Now everybody look up towards the organ. You want just to move it back a little bit? Oh. You want them back a little bit more? Okay, everybody on the first step, hop to, hop to the, the top step. Everybody who's on the ground, hop to the first step. Everybody, come on back here. There we go. I used to be a photographer in high school. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. Can you get everybody in? Okay, everybody look up there. Oh, 
Now, wait a minute. Now, everybody, stop waving. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, wave. Keep on waving. <laughs> okay. thank all the teachers and uh, uh, all the instructors and the administrators and all those uh, uh, who work behind the scenes at the school, huh? You know? And what's the best school around? St. Anthony! Come on! Three times! Three times! What's the best school? St. Anthony! Raise your hands! Come on! What's the best school? St. Anthony! Again! St. Anthony! Again! St. Anthony! Again! Everybody! St. Anthony! I love you all, and you'll be always in my prayers and my thoughts, okay? Okay? And I haven't gone yet, so you will see me next week. <laughs> yes. Okay. And thank you for the beautiful gifts. Thank you very much. Okay. Very good. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the prayers of St. Anthony, our special saint, may the Lord bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father, and of, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit. spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by how we live. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He
going to Disney World. Once again, good morning, everyone. It was so nice to hear your voices singing and responding as we celebrated our Mass. And what a beautiful Mass we had. And I hope all of you realize what a blessing you have in having Father Jerry as our priest for so long. As David said, all of the wonderful stories and the homilies that help us to be able to know Christ just a little bit better through the way that he speaks to you and his actions. So we're very happy to hear that he'll be here with us next week as well. And we just wanted to make sure that we had a chance to tell him thank you for everything. So as we go about, as we get ready to go back to our classes today, I also want to remind you that it is Administrative Assistance Day. So if your class has cards and everything for our office staff, yes, some of them are not here this week, but you can still bring them and we will make sure that they get them. Okay, so we have our testing this morning. Remember, we don't stress, just do your best, okay? And ask Jesus to help you because he knows everything and he can always help. All you have to do is say what in your heart? Jesus. Jesus. Let's try that. What do we just have to say? Jesus. And that's our most simple and most powerful prayer. So let's make sure that we have a great day and keep all of those things in mind as we get started with our testing and throughout the rest of the week. Okay, have a great day. In spite of all we've been through, we're still standing, yeah. We're still standing tall, we're still standing, yeah. We're still standing proud, we're still standing, yeah. We're still standing firm in God. Here at St. Anthony's School, we're still standing. In spite of all we've been through, we're still standing, yeah. We're still standing tall, we're still standing, yeah. We're still standing proud, we're still standing, yeah. We're still standing firm in God. Here at St. Anthony School, we're still standing. Yeah. Whistle.